Yeah, I was wearing a rose gold Rolex that David had bought me for my birthday, um, and I love, I love the, I love the rose gold, and I've used it um, with my ready-to-wear collections in the past and with my accessories. Um, and you know, I just thought this would be great. You know, let's have a, an element of rose gold in the design as well. You know, it's very subtle, but it's done in a very cool very chic way and I think that rose gold again is is uh, is something that people can can very much associate with me my personal taste and also also my brand I think that it has a feminine feel to it but not overly feminine I think that it, it also feels quite masculine as well I wanted to design a car that I want to drive but also David wants to drive as well you know I didn't want to do anything really really feminine I wanted it to have a very strong masculine feel about it when we started this project 18 months ago you know um, we spoke a lot about the attention to detail and seeming details like like what you see on the inside of the car is very important to me and what I do with my fashion as well. And so I wanted to know what I could do, what, what the limits were. And we used the, it's called baseball stitching, mm -hmm. didn't we, on the inside mm -hmm. of the car, that I think really complemented the car, works for Range Rover, and it's also very on-brand for me as well. And those yeah. details are very, very important, and I appreciate those kind of details, and I think that the customer will as well. I knew that I didn't want to just do a black interior. Mm. I kn knew I didn't just want to do an ivory interior. I wanted something that felt very modern and very cool, but also had a little bit of a classic feel about it as well. Um, and I think the tan is is very, very chic. I think it's very unexpected. Mm. Um, I think it was quite a challenging colour to work with because it is quite different. And I love it. I, I, I think that it really complements the, the exterior. <laughs> but, you know, I, want, I wanted to really... Um, you know, roll my sleeves up and really get involved as well. This, I, I never just put my name on anything, you know, with anything that I do. And it was great to go to Gaydon and meet some of the people that have worked for Range Rover, you know, yes. actually making the cars for years and really get to grips and to really understand the brand was very, very important to me. It wasn't just about turn up and, you know, mm. sign off on a few designs and, and then leave. I was very hands on and no, I, I loved absolutely. every minute of it. She was. She was very, I've said this before, very focused and very diligent, consistently. She didn't, you know, she, she didn't get fatigued by it. Every time she came, she, you know, it, was, it wasn't no other stick. She wanted to get into the detail and she wanted to understand as well and learn. Mm, I really did. And I was getting bigger and bigger and bigger because I was pregnant when we first started working yeah, but you, with you, each other. Nothing else changed. It was just the lump in front. Well, I was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And, uh, yeah, it was just a great experience. The whole experience was, and Jerry's team are great. adorable, yeah. David hasn't seen the car yet. He's seen photographs and, and he loves what he's seen. Um, but, I, you know, I take my kids to school every day. I mean, you know, I'm sure David will drive it to training. Um, I've, got a yeah. good, I've got a good route for him. You've got a good route? Yeah, in California. Yeah, I know a good route to test the car. Right. But, you'll be, right. but you need to be seen in this car, don't oh, you? Oh, God, so, absolutely. You know. But, you know, I'm a real mum. You know, I love everything I do, I do with my kids. Take them to school, pick them up from school, take them on play dates, that kind of thing. And they are very, very excited to see it. Very excited. The kids, the kids will love it. I mean, the Evoke, the Evoke itself, it, <clears throat> it's apparently, I remember reading in the press, it's a car... The, the, I remember an article where a press a journalist said, I've seen lots of cars that can make people turn their heads, but he said, I haven't seen too many that can make people walk into lampposts. I love the, the, the sort of, what I would describe as the stealth-like look of the vehicle. It's, you know, with this, and fundamental to that is the matte finish paint, but in combination with a high gloss roof and the wheels, then contrasted also with a jewel-like quality detail, and particularly of that rose gold. I think that's a unique combination of things that's very special. 
And then when you relate that to the interior, this very stealth-like exterior, it's still very modern. So on the inside, that modernity is carried through, but it's got this vintage twist to it, particularly with the, with the, 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 the tanned leather. And Victoria was very um, focused on making sure we got the right leather. We looked, remember, we looked at lots and lots of materials. I remember you were totally preoccupied, quite rightly, with the, with the feel you know, the right tactility, getting that sort of almost like butter soft feel to, to, the, to the leather. And then also some of these other touches like the stitching that reflected Victoria's um, life in, 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 in America.